Welcome to session 4. In this session, we will talk all about logging and debugging. Logging is really about saving some of your users' responses for analysis. Oftentimes, you want to log the IDK responses from your bot so that you know what to fix. Analyzing the logs allows you to look at what your users are saying to your bot so that you can do some amendments in order for you to give a good response. Let's take this example here. You've got one type called drink with four things. And we have two templates. This template here, the second one, handles the IDK situation for this microtopic because the reference X will match anything, not just drinks. Always put your IDK templates last of all because they are the most general rule for your microtopic. All you need to do for logging is to add the L colon rule, which always fires in this case. All you need to do to enable logging is to put the L colon rule into the template in which you want to do logging. My recommendation is that you log your IDKs. In this case, you're going to log unknown drink followed by the drink or anything else that your user said. Notice that logging is only done if the template matches. You can find your logs by going into the chat logs folder. You will only see this folder appear if you publish your bot and users interact with it and if the IDK rule is fired. If none of these things are satisfied, then you will not see the chat logs folder. But once you have some log data coming in from your users, that's when you'll see it. Again, I'll emphasize, you will only see the chat logs folder appear once your bot is published and once users start interacting with it and if the logging is activated in one of the templates. If you look into the chat logs folder, you will find a log for each one of the chat bots that you have made. The name of the log file is always the name of the chat bot. So in this case, I've called the chat bot book. So if my username is A Dore, the full path of the chat bot would be apps.smojo.org slash A Dore slash book. If you click on the book, you clearly see the logs from various users. You can't tell which users they came from but you can tell the time the log was made. The times here are in UTC or GMT. They are in day, month, year, hour, minute, second format, followed by whatever you logged. Next, let's move on to debugging. These are techniques for you to fix problems with your chatbot, and I want to go over some very common techniques. The first thing you need to do is to check that you clicked on test or publish. You should not click on the green play button. The next thing you need to do is to make sure that you didn't miss a space. It's very easy to miss a space between things and that causes problems. The other thing you can check is if you made a spelling mistake. Spelling mistakes like uh, from singular to plural or to make a small mistake can mean a big change in how your chatbot behaves. We'll see that shortly. And last of all, you need to check for missing punctuation. Did you miss out a dot for conjunction or a dollar sign for references or perhaps the um, percentage sign for guards? Okay, in this test code, I have at least six errors. If I try to test this code, this is the error that I get. Now, when you get a long list of errors like this, ignore everything except the first error. The first error, in this case, is unknown word drink colon coffee. And you can see clearly that a drink and coffee are not separated with a space. So that's my problem. Okay, so I fixed this and I've tried testing again. Now, I get the next error, in this case, it's Q colon like, and I see again that's a problem with the missing space. Now, you have to go on like this until you fix 
all of your problems here. Another missing space with a colon yes, and I'm going to fix that as well. Once all these missing space problems have been fixed, I run test again, and yes, it looks like it's all great, but there's a problem. If you look at my test questions, the first question is, do you like coffee? And because coffee is a drink, the bot should reply, yes, I like coffee, which is correct. Next, I ask, do you like bananas? Now, bananas is not a drink, and therefore, the bot should say, I'm not sure if I do, because like and dollar sign $x would match like bananas. But instead, it says, I like bananas. Something is wrong. The next question, do you like bubble tea? Well, bubble tea is a drink and it answers correctly. The last question is answered correctly because it's an IDK situation. Now, the problem is, yes, I like bananas. If you look closely at the rule, you can see that it should be drink, not drinks. So this is a mistake, a spelling error. When I fix this, everything works well. Now, if you have further questions or perhaps bugs that you can't solve on your own, then you should post these questions in the technical forum. There's a QR code on the left. You should have received a link to the forum in your welcome email. You can use that as well. Here's some do's and don'ts when asking questions. Try to use a descriptive title for your problem. This is important so that we can see instantly what the problem is. Next, in the body of your question, indicate how and when the error was caused. Thirdly, post also the full error messages that you see. And last of all, let us know, of course, if the problem is solved.